Thanks, Linda. Yeah, it looks like it's warming up just a bit, and that's just in time because it is the time of year when the Greater Lancaster Museum of Firefighting is gearing up for their 12th annual Christmasville Fire Truck Parade. And we are pleased to welcome co-chairs Jerry Ainser and Tom Trapez to the show this morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Busy Thanks time of year for you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, you ready? Yeah, we're ready. You're ready for <laughs> we're it? We're ready to have some fun. Can you believe that it's been 12 years? No. I mean, think back to when you when you first started this. Yeah, the first time we, uh, the first year we did it, we had 19 trucks that participated. And now you have. Well, last year we had 202, so Let's, we're gonna go, we want to go bigger. <laughs> bigger and better this year. Yeah, I, I think we can do that. So that is 202 emergency vehicles. How many do you expect uh, for the parade on November 30th? We have 130 registered so far, and we're hoping to beat that 202. So, so far we have uh, trucks from six counties and um, also uh, two states. We have a, a firefighter from Pennsylvania that comes up every year, and uh, he brings a vehicle. Do you ever find any of the trucks or emergency vehicles competing for the best light spectacle? I would think that it's a little yeah. bit of a competition, oh, yeah. healthy competition. It's, oh yeah, it's competition. Yeah. You know, firemen like to have competition with each other, so this is it's all fun, you know? Yeah, it's so, all good stuff. Breaking rights for a year. Brings in the holiday spirit, that's for sure, too. Absolutely. And as you said, it keeps getting bigger and better every year with the vehicles coming and, and sharing their holiday spirit. But that goes for the crowds, too. How many people do you expect this year? Uh, probably over 50,000 people. And this is that, in Lancaster, in the village, in the of, village Lancaster. of Lancaster. And yeah. this, this must bring great business to the village. Yeah, absolutely. The, the village is growing, and it brings a lot of people to the village um, in, in the town as well. It starts at Lancaster <coughs> High School. And the parade route's about two miles, and the whole parade route is, is crowded with people. It's, uh, it's amazing. Um, about 9 o'clock in the morning, you'll see tents and chairs and everything along the parade route. A lot of families get together and have parties and, and campfires, so it's, it's a great community event. What do you gentlemen uh, recommend? We've got like 15 seconds left. What should we bring with us to the parade before the show closes up today? Warm clothes. <laughs> warm clothes. Yep. Warm hearts. Warm and hearts. Enjoy the parade, right? Enjoy so this the is trucks. for November 30th at 6 p.m. Thanks, everybody.